Hi, in this video I'm going to explain to you how to update the firmware of the Mitsubishi PSC FX5. Before doing that, by going on the software Jixworks 3 in Diagnostic, Module Diagnostic, we can see in this window the current firmware version of our PLC and the serial number. This is an important thing to do because as you can see on this slide, not every PLC can be updated to the latest firmware version. For this upgrade, we will need the firmware update file, an SD memory card and a CPU of the family FX5. You can find the updated firmware file on our website or you can ask to the support by telephone number or mail. You will get a compressed file with inside a folder called melprj with the dollar sign. We will need that folder and we have to drag and drop it inside our SD memory card. The SD card has to have a capacity of maximum 16GB. You have to delete all the files inside and it has to be formatted in FAT32. Remember also to perform a backup of all the data inside the PLC because with this procedure we are going to delete everything. And now we can move on to the real firmware update. First of all turn off the PLC and put the selector on stop. Now we can insert the SD card that we have prepared. Once you have done that, you can turn on the PLC and you will see the LED card blinking in this way. Now we have to wait until the LED card stops blinking and the LED error and PRUN start blinking. At this point, we can reset the PLC. The two LED will start again to blink in this way, and now we have to wait until they will stop. Now we have to reset the PLC again. And again we have to wait until the two LEDs stop blinking. Ok, now we can turn off the PLC and we can remove the SD card. Remember to see by Jigsworks 3 by going on Diagnostic Module Diagnostic if the firmware version has been updated correctly. Thanks for your attention. If you have any questions on the topic, you can take a look at the manuals and you can contact our support with the phone number or the email.